Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another ASMR mukbang for you guys. Look how yummy that looks. I have some scrambled eggs, three pieces of turkey bacon, and some broccoli with a little drizzle of Alfredo sauce on top. <laughs> Yum. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Got that crispy turkey bacon. I haven't had bacon in a while. Mm. So yummy. So last night when I went to Publix to buy the stuff for, that I didn't that I needed for dinner, I was in the frozen section looking for my cauliflower rice, and I found I finally found the broccoli rice that I have been looking for a while, but I found the zucchini pasta. You have no idea how long I've been wanting to make that but I don't have the machine they sell the machine in at Walmart but I haven't been able to buy it um, I just knew that they had to have it made somewhere already you know because there's everything already made frozen that all you have to do is just stick it in the microwave and cook it up, you know? Like the broccoli rice, the cauliflower rice. I knew they had to have the zucchini pasta. So yeah, I can't wait to try it. I'm gonna buy that the next time I go. Hey! Stop fighting! Every day is the same thing with these kids. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that the next time that I go to Publix, I'm gonna buy it. And I wanna try it with some Alfredo sauce. I've never had not even before keto I've never had any of the vegetable pastas or anything like that but I know there's a lot of um yummy recipes out there because I've seen them even before I started doing keto I've seen a few recipes for the spaghetti squash on Pinterest and I was like oh this looks pretty interesting you know and, and a very healthy alternative to eating pasta which is you know the bad carbs and that <laughs> we used to load up on So yeah, it's good to know that Publix carries the frozen zucchini pasta. Oh my god. I can't 
can't wait to try it. I didn't pick it up last night because we were limited and the stuff we were buying last night was just for dinner. And grabbing a few stuff that we needed for the boys as well. So yeah. Next time I go, I'm picking that sucker up. <laughs> I want to try that. I got ideas in my head for recipes. So yeah. For a while I've been thinking, you know, when I try that zucchini pasta, I'm going to do that with a little bit of the Alfredo sauce, maybe add some shrimp. Oh my God. There is definitely many alternatives. Then you could do on keto. So good. Mm -mm. More water. So yeah, I'm juggling some videos today because I'm also vlogging. So, but I was like, let me stop and do a mukbang for you guys. for tonight for dinner oh my god you guys this is a dilemma every single day since they've been on winter break it's like all you do is fight it's mostly my oldest son he doesn't want his brother in the room with him. Going through that stage already. Mm. But anyway, like I was saying. So tonight my friend George is coming over for dinner. And I'm probably going to end up making some turkey burgers tonight. Because he really loves burgers. Um... The last time he came, I made the the keto Mexican casserole that I make, and I've made a few other dishes and stuff like that, but he really, really loves burgers, so I'm probably just going to do that. You know, me and David, as always, of course, we're going to have the bunless, but yeah, I might do that, just do some yummy turkey burgers. Um, I always bake my burgers. In the oven. But extra healthy. Mm. And I'm doing turkey because, you know, I try not to do too many red meats throughout the week. Last night we had the... I made some beef, pepper steak with we'll cauliflower rice and stuff like that. So we already had red meat last night. Mm -hmm. So I'll do some turkey tonight. That's why I bought the turkey bacon because even though I haven't had bacon in a while, like I'm trying to stick to the leaner meats and just do the red meats like, you know, like I've been doing so far just at least once a week. But I don't always do it just once a week <laughs> sometimes you know i'll do like jacob come here now sometimes i do like maybe twice a week i'll do red meat or something like that but yeah i try to limit it 
but I think that now that I've added exercise to my diet, it'll probably, you know, speed up the weight loss process some more. <laughs> I'm getting full. Trust me, I just left like a tiny bit <laughs> of broccoli and a little piece of bacon. Just oh my god, I'm so full already. I should have done just two strips of bacon. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that was good. Trying to get more greens in also throughout my day. Why are you guys fighting? Well, calm down. Leave Sam alone. So that way he doesn't get all. It's annoying to hear them <laughs> fighting constantly. Oh God, you guys. Nobody prepared me for what it's like to have a teenager almost. <laughs> He'll be 13 in February. My oldest. I'll give you water now, Jacob. But, um, yeah, he's going through that stage where, like, get out of my room. That's all his little brother. Get out of my room. Let me open it for you. Here. he be like, Jacob, get out of my room. Leave me alone. I want to be alone. Oh, my God, you guys. It's like the constant battle every single day. And even when they, they're, like, Either at school or at the shop, you know, during the day. As soon as they get home, <laughs> all hell breaks loose. The fighting starts again. And I'm like, oh, God, there goes my peace. <laughs> yeah, oh, God, you guys are always fighting. I know it's not your fault, baby. You love, you love your big brother. Your big brother's a brat. <laughs> yeah. He loves him, you know. He's just going through that. Preteen, almost teenager stage. Nobody could prepare you for that. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys. So I'm done with this mukbang. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.